Hi everyone. Today we're going to do the still life painting and I got the inspiration from a famous painting Still Life with a Carafe Flowers and Fruit and it is done by Henry Fantin Latour in 1865. So I'm taking a, only a small portion from that one and this is our painting today and we are going to do in acrylic. And the materials we need are a canvas pad here I'm using this one acrylic pad with 400 GMS and we need some brushes we need some fly brushes round brushes and thin brushes and we need a palette for mixing I'm using a palette paper disposable palette paper and paints any paints any brand of paints acrylic paints pencil eraser and a paper towel and a cup of water so we can start sketching now so I'm going to make a very rough sketch first I'm just making a line here and then we need to make a picture in this one so I'm making a straight line almost you know on the first half of the paper a straight line first you can use a ruler if you want to use a ruler you can use it and I'm going to mark here so we, ha we have to draw from here till here so this is the space for that one and then we have to start uh, starting start with the basic shape so we have an oval shape over here and a long neck thin and long neck that is connected with the oval shape so first always make a rough sketch so you can just clean up the drawing later and so we'll, we will not spend time on drawing the you know details and then erasing the whole thing so we can save a lot of time when you do a sketch So we got the shape of this um, object and then we have to add the details so the base is kind of slightly flat here and we have a handle that is coming from this side And there is a small details at the neck at the end of the neck so here just make an oval and then you can extend this line on both side so we got the shape now and then I'm going to erase this one and then make the make the drawing neat So before doing that one we have uh, some uh, fruits over here so we have two peaches one is on this side another one is overlapping with the sec first one on this side maybe slightly here so you can just start with a circle one circle another circle the shadow of this one shadow of this best well and then now we can erase and make the drawing neat so the rough sketch will be a little bit confusing when we see so I'm going to make the lines what we need darker so you can see the lines So 
so it's the straight line actually helping us to draw the mirror image of the uh, vessel if something is in symmetry you can always draw a straight line in the middle and then you can start So we finished the drawing and then I'm just marking the highlight on this one. So we have few highlights here, maybe on this side and then small highlights at the end of the shapes. We finished the drawing, now we can start painting. So I'm taking a black and brown color, burnt umber. these two colors and we have to start with a big flat brush I'm adding water so mixing together so black and brown together it's getting a very dark color and this color is for the base layer for the background and also for this picture so we have to do it very light means uh, we have to add more water and make it thin layer so we can see the lines yeah so it's lots of water so when you finish this layer you can actually see that lines so that is important so maybe you have to draw this um, sketch darkly And we can do the background with gray color so I'm just mixing some black and white to get a lighter gray very light gray And I'm making a little bit darker gray for the shadows. Slightly darker for the shadows. Both brown and black is there in this combination. Black plus brown and some white.
and I'm doing one more lighter gray color this is with more white but it's not much um, black in that one so it's getting lighter the background will look very light Now we are going to work on the background one more time with black and brown color. So this time this is going to be thick okay and we are doing only in the background now. And I'm doing this color in some areas of this um, vessel so mostly in the um, center because uh, if you do it on the side we oh, will lose that outline so it will be you know hard to do draw it again so just do that only in the middle And after that you can take a smaller brush like a round brush, a medium round brush and then we are going to mix some red into it. So we are mixing some scarlet red into the black and brown combination. So we are getting a little bit reddish tone. And this is for the sides of the picture. So we're going to do it on this one. So you can do it very carefully on the sides. This side you have to make it more darker so there is no specific outline between background and for, um, this object in this side because it is in the it looks really dark so I'm just making this side darker. Again here black and brown on this side so there is no red over here it is really dark. You can take that red color and you can do some 
areas like here and some dots and we need some black on the side too so we finished the uh, the coloring and it is really easy now we can put some highlights and we will get the shape so take a small brush and find out the position of the highlight and then you can just put this one here i can see one highlight over here the shape is according to the shape of the object so this has a special shape like this so the highlight is also kind of different so i'm just making so this is a clear dark i mean thick white and then it goes away from here it's getting thin and then it's getting like dots and you can see some kind of shadow i mean highlight on this side too so there is a line one dot you can do a, some oval shape here and on this one and same thing on this side too there is a line on this one um yeah i think we can do one more shape on this side And I'm going to make some light tones of red color here because of the uh, reflection, the transparency of the object. This glass will always have some kind of a you know reflected light inside this one. So I'm making this side slightly darker and outside with you know a dark line. So slightly more red on this side. And when you look carefully, actually we can see uh, this, that uh, light is reflected in the shadow too. You can do it and then you can take a big brush and then merge it with some water. Because it should not like show up. It should be like blend with the shadow. So finish this uh, the first object that is a picture and now we can fin uh, do the fruits so we'll do the background darker later so this is enough for the for this layer and now we're going to take some yellow ochre white And the red color same red colors i'm taking a scarlet red here so and we already have some white this is going to be slightly darker <clears throat> So I'm just doing a little bit of red here and a little bit of red on this side and there is more light and yellow color on this one. And I'm adding some yellow ochre into this one. This is for the sides of this red. And now we're going to start mixing some white into this combination so we're getting a very light peach color and this color is for the whole shape I'm 
mixing on the red also because so that is making a nice color so this color looks so good So I'm making it more lighter by adding more white into it. So you can see it's the same color combination. So it, it uh, scarlet, um, yellow ochre and white color. So there is no other color but I'm making lighter by adding more white into it. So we're getting different tones of the peach. Okay. So this looks different than the, uh, the first one here. So whenever you do that light color, just blend it into the um, you know the dark tones so this looks okay for the base layer and we're going to add more dark and highlights first I'm just adding dark into it and then we will be doing highlight at the end for the dark I'm just adding some brown so we have a red and brown so I'm just taking some brown into this red color so it's brown plus red and one touch of black is also there to make it darker and this is for the darker areas on this side and one line here and then i'm going to make that line but that line should not be that prominent so what you have to do just take the the first color combination that is yellow color plus white and um, red color and then blend it on the uh, that dark color so we'll get a shadow so instead of making a line you can get a very nice shadow of the color then you can do that shadow on the base of this fruit so so it has some black and you know brown is also there so the colors are still wet so actually that white and colors are blending together to make a nice tone of the color so I'm still working on the wet color so I'm not waiting to get it dry yeah, this, this has to be really light not that too dark and that uh, these light colors are complementing the dark background and also the dark object that still life object and I'm doing the same color same color brown black and the combination what we mixed here before I'm just making the shadow of this one we are almost done so we have to do the highlight so wash the brush there should not be any black in it now just take the fresh color that is the red yellow and some white so clean colors without black and brown it's like very light peach and this is for the highlight on this side so in uh, peach is not a glossy um, fruit like apple so there is no you know uh, no white there it is kind of slightly lighter so if we are putting highlight for the apple we will just take white and then put the dots but for the peach it doesn't have a glossy surface like apple it is smooth but not glossy like apple so there is a difference in highlight so i'm just making the side to the highlight blending with a clean clean wet brush so the brush is wet and there is no color but I'm just mixing the sides of that highlight so you can just go into the medium tones 
and I'm going to do that one more time that color if you want any other place for the highlight you can do it now and I'm taking some fresh color of red doing some red color So almost the colors are okay and if you want to add more colors now you can do on top of it. I just want to make it a little bit yellowish that means more yellow ochre. So you can work more in more layers so that pencil lines will go otherwise that pencil lines will be disturbing the whole painting. If you want to uh, blend the sides of whatever color you are applying, clean up the brush, take the wet brush and then blend on the sides of the color. You have to do it quickly before getting it dry. I'm going to do a little bit highlight over here. So finish this uh, fruit, uh, now we, if you want to do we can just do Maybe if you want to make it a little bit greenish, so in peach we can see all of these colors. If you want to add some green, you can just take a little bit of green and mix into the same color combination and you can apply wherever you want. Now we have to do the background darkly, so we just did three um, two layers now. Now we can make it darker by adding one more layer of black and brown. Same color, darker. So you can do the shadow one more time. And with the shadow color that is a grey, brownish grey color, maybe you can do a, an outline with the, for this one, the shape so it will be more clear. So this is the same color I took for the shadow. We can do a color and then I'm just using my finger and then blending on the sides of it. So this is the minimum thing you can do with the so if you spend more time so this thing will you know come up and it will be the result will be awesome so this is just a simple things you can do for the still life so if you have more time and if you, you can add more layers of the color you can use the same you know colors there is no different change in the color but you have to add more layers so i'm just using some red color and doing some you know that fresh colors into it. I'm going to do the white one more time for the 
foreground I'm just taking a little bit of gray color and making more brighter And we have one leaf here, a small leaf. We can add a green color, maybe some brown into the green, so we'll get a um, olive green color. So this color we can apply for the leaf, and there is not much detail in that one. Just one color is enough. We finished the painting. I hope you had fun. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.